Watch, are you sure you want to do this? You don't have to. I told you we could find another way to find your tuition. I know. Thanks, Dad. But, you know, I really do want to figure this out on my own. You know, it's not bad to let down your pride a bit. Okay, who do you think I got it from? Man, I honestly thought we were going to see you dry this out in a wedding dress one day. What? No way. Yes, yeah, way. You look so badass. Force your husband on it just to show everyone else how badass you are. And who wears the pants? Okay, Dad. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess I kind of saw myself doing some pretty cool things in this truck, too. Help! <laughs> Somebody! <laughs> it's too late. Once this train comes, you'll be run over and the heterosexuals will win. <laughs> I meant that I just want to go road tripping, you know? That would have been cool. Well, your mother and I support you. And we're proud with whatever you choose to do. Well, thanks, Dad. Devil. Okay. Why did it have to be Western? Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> I don't know where to start. What is Then why are you here? Well, I thought that you I... You thought? No, I was advised to come here so I can get some help and... You look fine to me. That's what I said. If this is about an issue that you can't speak with your parents about, you should just talk to them directly anyways, instead of spending money on stuff you don't need. But I do think I need it. You should I... invest this instead on something to help your family who's out there working and never asking for help. There are a lot of people out there in the world who are suffering. Why do you think your issues deserve more attention? Well, I don't know, but I... Th your parents raised you to be hardworking and to prioritize your family, right? Yes, but I so don't... So that's think... not enough for you? I just want to be on the right path. Without path. telling your parents? They wouldn't understand. I, I... And you think some stranger will? 
Tell me, what does a white person know about us? Well, I don't know, but maybe exactly. they could... Exactly. You don't know. You don't even know where to begin. Why? Because you're too young. You don't know about suffering right now. So stop being ungrateful. You don't belong here. Good morning, Jasmine. Hi, good morning. Um, thank you for taking the time to meet with me. Of course. Thank you for scheduling time to talk. How can I help you today? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Let me, I, for some reason, I just completely blanked out right now. Um, okay, well, my friend said that they attended a meetup that one of your team members was hosting, and they recommended that I hit y'all up. Well, thanks to your friend for the recommendation. We're always happy to see that our outreach continues to grow. Are you interested in joining a workshop or a meetup? Well, yes and no. Okay, sorry. Let me just focus my thoughts real quick. No need to apologize. Take your time. My friend told me that I should ask for a friend. Okay. I am the friend. The friend is me. I'm the one asking for this. So for a while now, I've been wanting to find like space, I guess. Um, but I don't even know what that is. And I've tried the books, the workouts, the yoga, and none of it feels like it's working for me. And recently I've been thinking of maybe wanting to find someone to talk to about it, like, like a therapist, but I don't know where to look. I search online and I see so many options for various specialties and so many people and then not so many people. And I start thinking maybe I don't need this, but then I feel like I do. But then I look at the prices and can I even afford it? And there are people that are in way more need than me and I just don't. Okay, that was a lot. Uh... No, that's fine. I get it. This can feel like a lot and that's okay. You know, we are all human and we need help, help here and there. So uh, therapy is really a space to explore and make changes and process our experiences. And actually for the longest time, we've been conditioned to uh, think to avoid mental health and therapy. And uh, the reality is that mental health is just as important as our physical health. The same way that we work out and we take care of our bodies, we can use therapy to exercise and learn healthy coping skills for our mental health and our own emotional well-being. Thank you. Uh, it's weird to say out loud, but yeah, now that I am, it's... You know, they make it look so simple to talk to someone right away on TV, right? But how did that person know that that therapist was the one? Like, I scroll through so many people and I'm like, which one do I swipe right on or grab a bagel? for damn i've been out of the gate the dating game for like a hot minute i'm sorry ignore that um yeah to be <sighs> honest with you it's perfectly normal not to know where to start life is really not straightforward and sometimes it can take time for us to identify where we're at in life and it's important that um you know you are here and you're seeking out information and starting therapy is actually a big step many people take and it can feel very overwhelming um, to find a therapist that is a good fit for you. Yeah. Um, what are you hoping to get out of therapy? Um, well, I guess I've... 
I would like to not feel like I'm watching my life from far away. I think, I really don't know. <laughs> wow, that's not specific at all. Um, do I have to specifically know the answer to that question before I get started? Uh, you're not alone in not knowing what questions to, to ask for starters. We can talk about what seems to be on your mind the most right now. A lot of things, uh, but mainly right now is probably money, figuring out school and maybe talking to my parents about my life. And I heard that you specialize in sexual orientation. Most of our consultations uh, provide resources and offer resources that focus on people of color, LGBTQ+, women of color, and other stigmatized communities. So what you just listed is an amazing start. The most common issue that we see um, is that people who are LGBTQ plus or of color find themselves in situations or with therapists that are unaware of those backgrounds. And although they are well trained in the field, they lack the culture emphasis that plays a huge role in our lives, uh, which can be discouraging. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is that you can also identify who would be the most helpful for you. Okay, uh, thank you. But would I do that with you instead? Or how does that work? Well, we aren't meant to replace mental health services, but we are here to help with resources and contacts that will hopefully have the right person for you. There's some amazing directories out there too, such as Latinx therapy or therapy for black girls where you can look for a provider. Well, at least it'll be a clearer direction than where I was last night. Um, the second thing though is, how much do the services typically cost? It really all depends on your area and the type of sessions you would prefer, either in person or virtually. But individual sessions can typically run for 50 to $80 per, per hour without insurance. Keep in mind that some therapists actually do offer sliding scale, which means they charge based on your income level. Oh. oh, I don't think I could get by on my parents' insurance. Let me ask you something though. Is it, do you think it's really worth it or are there other options that are just as effective? Well, we do offer group, group, um, group meetups, mm -hmm. excuse me, uh, seminars, recommendations for books or podcasts, but as a reminder, these services aren't meant to replace mental health services. Uh, they do assist in allowing you to learn more of what you may need or create a discussion, but this is something you truly feel like you need. Or, you know, I think it's important to ask yourself, what is it that's important for you right now? I understand. You know, okay, if you have more time, can we maybe start searching together right now? Absolutely. And based on what you actually mentioned, let's start by seeing what's around your area. Then we can guide you to some contacts that fits your needs. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Hi, Watcha. It's the end of an era, huh? Yeah, it is. Still, wish you would have let us help. You could have kept your truck and still gone to school. I you know, but I think it was for the best, you know? It had to be done. So when do you start class? Um, I have to call the admin office to make an appointment. I think I'll go in next Tuesday. Well, let me know what else you need. The guy came by earlier to drop off the truck. He said he'll pick up the truck after work. So say your goodbyes now. I will. to confirm my appointment for Jasmine Jimenez. Okay, yeah, thank you. 